So hi everyone, my name is Yael Cohen and I'm a hemato-oncologist from Israel. I work in the Tel Aviv Sarasky Medical Center and I run the myeloma unit. And I'd like to update you on the exciting data I presented uh, just a few minutes ago in ASCO. This is the redirect one clinical trial. It's a phase 1b trial, so this means it's early development. And this is actually the first time the two drugs from the class of bispecific antibodies have been combined together to treat any hematologic malignancies. So the trial involved two, tri two drugs. One is teclistamab, and this is a drug already approved in the United States for treatment of triple class exposed myeloma. So teclistamab is a bispecific antibody, which means it's an antibody with two arms. One knows to capture a T cell, which is an immune cell, and the other can identify a myeloma cell, and it does so by a specific uh, uh, marker on the myeloma cells called BCMA. So it's like a CD3, BCMA by specific antibody. And uh, then the other drug that was used in this trial is called Telquetamab. So this is a drug still in development, late stages of development. And it also catches a, a T cell with a CD3, but the myeloma is targeted with a different marker called GPRC5D. So in this trial, the unique uh, feature was that actually both of these two novel uh, uh, bispecific antibodies were combined together to treat patients with advanced myeloma. So the patients uh, who enrolled into this, this study were relapsed or refractory or intolerant to their last uh, line of, uh, of treatment, and they had to have been exposed to drugs uh, from the classes of protosome inhibitors, such as bortezomib, and uh, an image, such as, for example, lenalidomide anod, and anti-CD38 antibodies, such as uh, daratumumab. Uh, so uh, uh, the patients uh, enrolled uh, into the study, 93 of them, uh, got various doses because this was what's called a dose escalation study since it's early development. This means that we're trying to figure out which is the right dose of each drug and which is the schedule that will be most uh, efficacious and, of course, safe for the patients. And uh, we ended up with a, with a certain uh, a dose of teclistamab at 3 milligrams per kilogram given every two weeks and telcalamab at 0.8 milligrams. So this is the recommended uh, phase 2 uh, regimen. And this was investigated uh, uh, in this cohort of 93 uh, uh, patients. Uh, and uh, uh, the safety of uh, combination of these two uh, antibodies was really uh, very encouraging. There were no uh, new additive toxicities uh, found by combining these two, uh, um, these two antibodies uh, uh, together. Uh, there were some uh, uh, decreases in blood counts, but uh, uh, the rates were really uh, low. Uh, the infection rate, uh, which we know is always an issue with the uh, myeloma treatments, was the same as uh, that of, uh, uh, of uh, teclistamab given as a monotherapy. Cytokine release syndromes, which is like the inflammatory response uh, uh, that uh, patients can get when uh, the immune system system is driven to fight the, the myeloma. So these were also uh, of low grade. It means that they're easily uh, manageable. They occurred uh, only in the beginning of the treatment uh, and, uh, and resolved with, uh, with simple uh, treatment uh, measures. The efficacy uh, data from this study is really very encouraging. Okay, so these are very hard to treat patients because they are so refractory, uh, but the overall response rate was 86% for the entire cohort. And those patients who got the selected dose, what we call the, the uh, recommended phase two regimen, they had a response rate as high as 96%. So uh, as they probably many of you know, 96% uh, a response, you can't really get uh, much better than that. And uh, we only were able to see these uh, levels of responses before with CAR T uh, uh, therapy with the with the T cells that they underwent uh, uh, engineering. So uh, here we have an off-the-shelf drug combination that can yield the same kind of responses. And the unique feature of the study was that the population was enriched with patients who have 
what's called extramedullary disease. And extramedullary myeloma means that we have a, 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 a tumor that uh, lost its, uh, its uh, need or dependency in the bone marrow uh, environment. And actually, you get a, a lump of tumor in, in soft tissue. This can be under the skin or in the liver or any other place that is not related to the bone. And it turns out that the treatment of patients with extramedullary myeloma is really very, very challenging. And uh, a, a known treatments we have available to date uh, yield low response rates, and uh, the responses are really short, uh, short uh, living. Even CAR T, which yields a slightly better response rate, uh, uh, still uh, uh, allows for really limited durability of response. And here, uh, in the re re redirect one study, combining these two uh, novel bispecifics yielded very high response rates, even in these very hard to treat myelomas. So the response rate at the, at the selected regimen was as high as 85%. And uh, the other important message is that that uh, these responses were really uh, durable, so they, they lasted uh, uh, for, for over a year. So uh, to conclude, uh, the first study uh, combining two bispecifics, bispecifics in, in, in the, in, on their own are, are quite novel and, uh, and uh, promising uh, drugs in myeloma, and here uh, for the first time, two of them together really yielded uh, excellent uh, a high efficacy without an excess of uh, toxicity. We're able to manage even very hard to treat patients with extramedullary disease. Uh, so we're looking forward with, for further studies uh, uh, to uh, uh, further uh, uh, look at the opportunity of, uh, of this treatment uh, uh, to extend uh, the, the treatment for myeloma patients. So there's so much new data becoming available in, in myeloma. A few years ago, uh, it was limited to, to uh, uh, the ASH meeting uh, uh, taking place in December, but now there's uh, being more and more uh, data also presented here at, uh, at ASCO. And uh, uh, I just uh, it came out of a very interesting uh, session. It was discussing uh, various uh, advanced regimens for maintenance treatment uh, for, for myeloma, combinations that might uh, uh, give a better solution for patients with high-risk disease. Uh, there was also presentation of a uh, new uh, uh, bispecific antibodies, uh, uh, several antibodies uh, targeted at, uh, at BCMA, uh, a couple of new studies on CAR-T uh, uh, therapy. So uh, things are continuing to move uh, forward and fast uh, uh, for myeloma for the benefit of patients. Uh, these are really very exciting times.